Hey guys, it's your math tutor. Today we're doing an introduction to imaginary and complex numbers. We'll go through what exactly imaginary and complex numbers are, what you can do with them, and also some real world applications. Let's go. When we think about all of the numbers we've learned until now, so think of the numbers 1, 2, 3 million, pi, the square root of 36, these are all real numbers. They might be categorized as positive, negative, rational, irrational, but no matter what they're categorized as, they're all still real numbers because they exist. With imaginary numbers, on the other hand, these numbers technically do not exist. And I know how it sounds, just go with it for now. When we talk about imaginary numbers, we usually are referring to a number called i, which is defined as the square root of negative one. And at first it looks like a real number that exists, like the square root of 49. But if you think about it, what is the square root of negative one? I mean, the square root of 49 is seven because seven times seven is 49. But what number times itself equals negative one? One times one is positive one and negative one times negative one is still positive one. So there is no number that you could possibly think of that if you square it equals negative one, it doesn't exist. So this is what we mean when we say it's imaginary. Now with these imaginary numbers, you can add them, subtract them, multiply, divide, square them. You can pretty much do everything you do with real numbers with imaginary numbers like 2i plus i equals 3i, 2i minus i equals i. So when you're doing these operations like adding or subtracting, you can pretty much treat it like a variable like x. In the same way, 2i times i is 2i squared, and 2i divided by i is 2. Now you'll also hear about complex numbers, which is just a real number added to an imaginary number. You'll usually see complex numbers written in this format, a plus bi format, which is called standard form. And same thing, we can add, subtract, multiply, divide complex numbers also. So again, just treat it like a variable. If we're adding two complex numbers, we just add the real part. So two plus four equals six. Then we add the imaginary part. 3i plus i is 4i. This is our answer. You also might be thinking, why are we making up imaginary numbers now? It seems a little unnecessary. Well, they're actually used in real world applications that usually have to do with waves, like in signal processing. There are waves that allow cell phones to work and also in electrical engineering the waves in electrical circuits also have to do with complex numbers. I won't go into too much detail, but complex numbers are really great at representing graphs of waves. So if you think about cell signals or AC circuits or radar signals, these waves are modeled using imaginary numbers and we can make calculations about these signals to design that technology. All right, that's it. That's all I wanted to talk about today in terms of a quick introduction to imaginary and complex numbers. If this cleared up the concept for you, please click the like button and consider subscribing for more math tutorials and tips. I'll see you guys in the next video.